Hello my people, good morning, good afternoon and good evening to you all. Welcome back to Critics News on another edition. <laughs> when I don't already know how we take the do, I'm sad. We take see the matter so now so we take the talk arm. So let's go straight to the reason why we are here today. Now, there's the latest information in town and um, there is panic in the government house of uh, Imo State where hope Ozodema has been hiding and uh, been, uh, you know, uh, and been doing, will I call it dishonor or, ah, oh God, committing all sorts of atrocities against the uh, people of Imo State. Now, the latest information that we have says that uh, the Onongo men has beheaded two Nigerian army couples in uh, Imo State, and they also threatened to kill their family members. Uh, we obtained a, uh, an audio uh, from the a conversation. I say, wow, this thing don't read. I told you people this thing. This is what I've been talking about. Who pulls on them? Oh, Una no one learn something. Una they see him. Una they see him. Una go they send army, create a bubag who these people will be going from house to house, killing people, burning down hotels, burning down homes, burning down everything. Now, some people are no longer happy and they say that they are no longer going to take it lightly with anybody who is committing all these atrocities. Now, look at what we have here. Tears as unknown gunmen kill soldiers on their way to their wedding in Imo State. This is our, this, so the, the new couple now, they don't go, or on a go, Sarah. You know, see, this country don't fail. But go and see. Uh, despite all these things that we have been talking about and been shouting about, go and see the number of checkpoints in the Southeast today. It will shock you that these people are still there. Their bosses are still sending them go to that checkpoint. Go and, go and collect bribe bosses. So go, go to that place and collect bribe. Police, so, army, so, civil defense. So, despite what is happening in this country, they are still using them to kill innocent people. At different check illegal checkpoints, not just checkpoint, illegal checkpoint that have been mounted in Biafra land all over. And the terrorists are busy killing people, kidnapping in the north. Nobody is talking about it. But in the southeast, where we are living peacefully, they have militarized it so much that even in your village, even in your very soon now, battles or those uh, track roads in the bushes, you will start seeing checkpoints there. You start seeing checkpoint to show you how how wicked this government of Nigeria is. They said, they, remember, they said that it is important to kill agitators. It is their priority is to kill agitators, not the terrorists, not Boko Haram, because the Boko Haram is working hand in hand with them. Now, breaking on Nongo men behead Nigerian army couple in Imo. And also, they threatened to kill their families. I'll play you the video so you will hear. Who poses a them now is in serious panic. On Nongo men on Saturday shot dead and then beheaded a couple who were operatives of the Nigerian army or personnel of the Nigerian army. Military sources told said that A.M. Linus, a sergeant first class in the army, and his lance corporal wife were on their way to Imo State when the incident took place. After beheading the couple, hmm, the gunmen were said to have called their family members to mock them. A gory video of the incident seen by Asara reporters showed the gunmen putting the hairs of their victim chest victim's chest after the incident. Huh. It's, it's so sad that we soldiers are no longer safe. The man was a member of the 19th regular intakes, while the wife was of the 79 RO1 intake. They were on their way to Imo State on Saturday when the incident happened. You won't believe these gunmen, as we speak, still use their phones to make calls to their family members, making jest of them and threatening to kill them as well. The couple just married recently. Even their photo shoot caused a lot of criticism and seems they were punished for it. Though the man is married to another woman with grown-up kids, he suddenly eloped with his younger soldier. 
I was told the girl also had kids before joining the army as well. The man still has a father. His, bro his brother is also a soldier working at a battalion in Kaduna. The lady um, was also raped before they were beheaded, a soldier told Sarah reporters. Attacks by armed men have increased in the southeast in recent times. The attacks often target security agencies and government facilities. The latest development comes a few hours after gunmen invaded a military checkpoint in Agolo, an Ocha local government area of Anambra State on Saturday and opened fire on soldiers, killing one in the process. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB, an agitating group for the Republic of Biafra, in as much as not what they gave us here, but I'm telling you now, a group agitating for the freedom and restoration of Biafra, has been linked to the deadly attacks in the region, but the group has repeatedly denied any involvement in all such attacks and the, uh, and the um, killings in the Southeast. The leader of the group, Mazen Namdekano, has been detained for almost 10 months now in Abuja in the facilities of the Department of State Services where he is facing terrorism charges uh -huh. in the in Nigeria, which the uh, many people, elders, children, youth, young ones, unborn, has been telling and crying out that the man should be released immediately to those tension in the southeast. But it is quite unfortunate that the governors of the southeastern zone are not interested in the lives of the people. If not, they should have done the needful to avert further um, attacks or destruction from this unknown men. Rather, they bring more troops, they bring more army, bring more DSS to keep people, burn down villages and residential areas of people. Now, let me play you a clip of um, the call they made to the families of the deceased soldiers or the soldiers uh, or the families of the soldiers called the unknown men. Listen to this. Hello. Hello, please, what happened to my friend? Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Please, what happened to my friend? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, I can hear you. Please, what happened to my friend? What happened to your friend? Are you a soldier? No, no, I'm a civilian. You are a civilian? Yes, sir. And your friend is a soldier? Yes, she's a soldier. Okay. Um, um, if you come down, okay? Yes, yes, I'm okay, sir. Uh, calm down, calm down. I'm okay, sir. Uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, it has come to this way. Uh, I kill them, okay? Okay. But what did they do, sir? Thank you. Uh, have you heard of a uh, non government before? We do watch them on the movie. On the okay, you, do, you, do, you people do watch them on the movie, right? Yes, sir. And you people do see how soldiers are killing innocent people because of a non government Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that is why I caught them yesterday and I killed them. I killed four of them yesterday. Before, they are the soldier. Now they are they the soldier. Are soldiers now. Hey. Don't you know that your friend is a soldier? I they know she's a soldier. Don't you know them? And you are calling them your friend. Don't you know your friend? I know she's a soldier. Okay, you know. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Unknown government don't need the one now. This one now. For where, sir? For where? Yes, sir. For, for unknown destination. Did you hear that? Did you hear the argument that um, ensued between the two parties? 
The unknown government said, have you heard about them? They say, yes, they have been seeing it on, on, on Facebook. They have been seeing it on TV. They have been seeing their activities where people make short records of these people. Now, the unknown government now told them that, have they seen how they are killing innocent people in the name of unknown government? And that's a very deep question there. Have they seen how they are killing innocent people? Have you seen how soldiers opened fire on ANSAS protesters? Have you seen how soldiers have been going about burning houses in the name of unknown government? This is why the tension might not go down any soon. Because the soldiers too are not safe. The unknown government too are now out for revenge. But the government will not go to the root cause of the problem. You just come today. So, Ludo, I want to use this opportunity to pass a message to you that this thing is getting out of hand. If you people don't find solution, you uh, Southeast governors, somebody, I just read a comment from a, a, um, a video they posted online the other day. The person, somebody said that these Southeast governors and the, our so-called leaders, if leafus in the Southeast, that they need to do something faster before these unknown government get holds of bombs or grenades or rocket launchers and a bunang. If he gets to that level, guy, even the barracks in Biafra land will no longer be safe. You now run, you go wrong, come off of that barracks when you do so. Now run, now you go wrong, come off of that barracks. Now that it is still in the primary stage. Our government houses are <laughs> comfortable. Remember that the, the, the East is not the North. So the way they are going to come, if they finally acquire all this uh, instrument that I just mentioned to you now, is going to be different. And some people, you, you don't understand. The government does not care about what is the cause of this unknown government. What you just want to do is to go and bring army. Oh, once you bring army, you feel that ah, the government will not go and relax. Oh, I brought army. They have uh, weapons there. Let them go and fight and kill unknown government. Then the army will not fish out or do investigation to find the unknown government. What they will do is just, oh, go to that village where the incident took place. Go and kill everybody in that village. Raid all of all the people in that village. And they will go there. Raid Hokadaman, raid Wibaro Pusha, raid um, shops, burn them, loot the hotels and burn them down in Ibo land, in Biafra land. And you think that the tension will calm down. Who pulls on them? Sorry, you. Sorry, you. The unknown government now, they are still in the nursery stage. Una no go find solution to it, to end it. Una no one find them. Now you people are doing everything possible to see. <laughs> Let go and bring at me. You can't reason to. That is why we are, I've told you people that we common sense is, is is not there. There is no common sense in what these government officials are doing. You don't want to find the solution, the root cause, because the moment you you remove the problem from the bottom, then you, it can no longer stand. But when you can go and cut a tree halfway. And the, another branch will still come up. Another branch will still come up. But when you uproot that tree, uh -huh, it will end. The tree will not, you know, survive again. Go and find the root cause of unknown men. Then the, the problem will come down. But when you <laughs> bring them and go and kill them, how many people can you... Can, they can, the problem is not... Even the unknown, they can't even see the unknown government because they are still unknown. They would rather go and burn uh, people and kill innocent people. That is where the problem lies. So, when I don't see him, it's just a pity that that girl was uh, uh, crying, you know, how painful it is. That the same way other people, other innocent people are still crying. How many of the people who have been taken to the north after these years of raids? How many of them have returned to come and tell us their stories? None have ever returned. And uh, these government officials are still there. The unknown government, like someone um, said, they are still in the primary stage. They are still in the nursery stage. When they get hold of grenades or bombs or dynamite, 
Now from fence of government has maybe they go follow the throw them inside that place. Then you eating crab and crayfish to stay fresh. You see say that blood when they chop there maybe go spill through way. The earlier the better. That's my own advice. Some of us say, oh, you did not do this. You did not do that. I'm only here to advise. Anyways, we have, um, what we did uh, was that we sent our forming committee quickly to restore normalcy. And uh, the president has uh, assured that uh, everything will be okay. Listen to him. Stable, sustainable. And I want to assure you. Mm -hmm. In this fight, I assure you mm -hmm. that we shall do even better. Okay. I assure you, okay. I will secure the country. Okay. The and uh, I assure you that okay. our priorities for the next level, really, mm -hmm. is to ensure that internally. I assure you mm -hmm. that if anybody seems to be spared, it's because we haven't caught up. All right, so that is it. Um, I think the president has also assured them and uh, our forming committee has restored normalcy. So it is the president, the duty of the president now to assure them. So I will be always be bringing him here to assure, assure them to go about their normal businesses in their barracks, not at checkpoint, illegal checkpoint in the key people. So let's go to the next one. Drop your comments below and let me know what you think about this worsening situation in the southeast on daily basis. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.